birds. Fantastic, colorful creatures, just as at home on a branch or in the air. And they sure do love to tweet. They can be fancy, funny, or fantastic, and always absolutely precious cutie pies. There are owls who have awesome good looks and mysterious superpowers. Budgies, the clown princes of the bird world, who are fiercely loyal and mate for life. There are birds who have the strangest diet you've ever heard of. And party animals who have crazy dance moves. They're not cuddly, but their charming personalities make them the animal kingdom's hot, flying, cute ones. Down Under is one of the places you're going to find flocks of our first feathered cute ones. Do you recognize this cute, colorful character? Probably so, because this fellow's so cute, he's become the world's number one high-flying pet. Officially, they're called Bajaragars, but they're much better known as just budgies. And in many parts of the world, they're also called parakeets. Budgies originally hail from Australia, but these Twitty Pies are nomadic, which means they like to travel around. That's why these days you can find them just about everywhere in the world. These two are brand new budgie parents. It might look like they're just resting. Don't be fooled. They're also keeping a close eye on their nearby nest. Budgies build their nests inside hollow trees. These budgies are expecting three new adorable chicks any day now. Mama Budgie is in charge of incubating her eggs. And it's tricky business for this sweet mom because budgie eggs don't always hatch at the same time. Sometimes there can be two weeks between the birth of these fragile babies. The chicks are born blind and featherless, and clearly these infants are weak and need constant care. And at this point, it might be hard to call them cute but they're still absolutely lovable, especially to mom and dad. Budgie families really love to stick together. Both parents are very involved in feeding and raising their chicks. They spend a lot of their days searching for food mashing it up in their beaks, and then feeding the birdie baby food to their hungry kids. When the budgie babies get a little older, they get a whole lot cuter, and way more curious too. They begin to pop their heads out and look around. They are almost ready to get out into the big beautiful world outside the nest and join the flock. These flocks can grow to have thousands of members, flying with incredible unity and precision. They sometimes travel hundreds of miles looking for food and water, and they always have each other's backs. These budgies are taking a pit stop at a cool, clear lake. It's an intricate ballet that lets everybody quench their thirst without fear about predators. Good thing, because not too far away, a hungry falcon has his eye on the budgie pool party. He's looking for his next meal, and the cute little budgies look pretty darn tasty. But the birds are safe in their flock. It's hard for the falcon to pick out one particular bird in the huge mass of feathered friends. The nimble cute ones can easily stay one step ahead of the predator. 
and their ability to turn their heads 180 degrees helps in tracking the threat. 180 degrees means they can turn their heads around completely backwards. That's a skill the falcon doesn't have, and he's looking a little frustrated by the budgie flock. When the falcon gets close, the budgies are faster and more agile, and able to outwit the big dangerous bird. The falcon keeps trying to stage an attack, but he keeps failing. Eventually, the falcon gives up and returns to his perch. The flock of budgies continues on their way. These adorable birds are extremely smart and make great pets. In fact, budgies always make the top 10 list of the most popular house pets. These clever cute ones can actually count up to three, remember sequences of sounds, and sometimes repeat them. Most budgies will learn to say at least a few words, and they're the most vocal of the pet bird species, boasting a good vocabulary and very melodic voices. Also, like a purring cat, budgies grind their beaks when they're relaxed and happy. But before we vote budgies cutie pie pet of the year, keep this in mind, budgies poop every 20 minutes. That makes for a lot of cage cleaning. It's easy to fall in love with these adorable birdies. Some say the moment a budgie first leaps from its perch to your finger is magical. It's clear proof that your budgie has bonded with you. And when they repeat the words or whistles that you've been teaching them, the experience can be funny and touching and awfully cute. The kingfisher is a beautiful, brightly colored cute one that loves to hang out near bodies of water. And they've certainly earned the name kingfisher because these fabulous flyers are big fish eaters and are experts at putting a delicious dinner on their family's dinner table. Like the budgies, kingfishers have very keen eyesight. They can also use each eye separately and pick up on the slightest change in the surface of the water. The kingfisher's ideal hunting spot is a firm perch overlooking a clear, shallow pool of water. Once the kingfisher locates a suitable fish, he assesses its depth below the surface, calculates how far and how fast he has to fly, and then makes his move. He dives down to snatch the fish. But the minute this clever cute one hits the water, an extra eyelid closes to protect his eyes in the water, making him virtually blind. But it's okay, the calculation he made from above lets him catch his prey with precision accuracy. Kingfishers must eat more than half their body weight every day. The Kingfisher's family's eggs have just hatched in the nest. Their sweet chicks are very hungry and need to be fed often. A hungry family of kingfisher babies can demand over 100 fish a day from their parents. That's a lot of trips to the kingfisher version of the grocery store. A special night vision camera records this footage of the babies inside their nest. Mom is babysitting while dad is out hunting. The kingfisher makes his dive and emerges with his prey.
rushes it back to the nest to feed the chicks. This time, one small fish is not enough. The dad immediately sets out again to get more fish. But now it's raining. This makes it much harder for the kingfisher to spot and catch his prey. But even under really difficult circumstances, the kingfisher sees a fish. down and emerges successful once again. The dedicated dad heads back to the hungry chicks. But now the kingfisher runs into another problem. The river has flooded because of the heavy rains. The water is rushing dangerously close to the nest and could drown the delicate chicks. The dad can't get into the nest. The water is too high. If he doesn't get to his chicks, they could starve. The situation is getting desperate. He makes several attempts. No luck. Daddy Kingfisher understands the critical importance of his mission and perseveres. He makes one last attempt. This time it works and he's able to get in to feed his babies after all. These kingfisher chicks are going to be just fine. Free to grow up to be adorable, colorful, keen-eyed, cute ones. Take a look at these incredibly fancy and fantastic birds called bee eaters. It's no surprise they're among the most beautiful birds in the animal kingdom. Most bee eaters live in the dry climate of Africa, but there are some species that live in southern Europe, Madagascar, Australia, India, and some Pacific islands. Wherever they live, bee eaters like to play in the dirt. but nest near water. And that nesting spot is very, very important. In fact, most bee eaters will travel thousands of kilometers between their favorite summer nest and where they settle down to breed in the winter. It's pretty obvious from the name bee eaters that these fine feathered friends just love to eat bees. Honeybees, bumblebees, even wasps and hornets. Bee eaters snatch their prey right out of the air and take it back to their comfortable perch for dinner. Bee eaters can chow down on 250 bees a day, which makes them pretty unpopular with beekeepers. When a bee eater decides to head out on the hunt for some tasty treats, he makes a beeline for the nearest hive. For a fast and clever bee eater, this is a dream come true. The pickings are good here, and don't worry about this beautiful bird getting stung. 
Bee eaters are so clever, they've figured out how to rub their catches on rocks or their perch to remove the stingers. Like kingfishers, bee eaters carve their long tunnel nests in riverbanks. Both parents share in the raising and feeding of their chicks. The babies leave the nest after only about a month, but mom and dad continue to feed them until they learn how to hunt bees and handle the poisonous bee stingers for themselves. Once they're out on their own, the bee eaters can grow to be about a foot long. And they love to strut their cute stuff and show off just how gorgeous they are. the wisest cute one in the forest. Perhaps it's the owl. A giant category of cute ones who fly all over the world. In fact, there are over 200 different species of owls living on every continent except Antarctica. Owls can be found anywhere there's dense forest where the adorable owl babies, called owlets, can stay well hidden. The mama owl even makes a camouflage nest so her little ones have extra protection until they can fly and hunt on their own. Like with most baby birds, the mother owls need to hunt for their young so they can grow big and strong. Their natural hunting instincts and super tuned senses are awesome tools that help them track and catch their prey. Instead of eyeballs like people have, owls have eye tubes that go far back into their skulls. That means their eyes are fixed in place, so owls have to turn their heads to look around. That's why they are constantly doing that owly swivel. Owl vision is amazing. Their giant eyes can see in the dark, and they're super farsighted, which allows them to spot prey from meters away. Owls' hearing is incredible too. They can hear the most imperceptible rustle that signals prey is nearby, hiding under leaves, plants, dirt, or snow. Also, owls have powerful talons and beaks, and probably best of all is their unique ability to fly silently, making it easy for them to sneak up on their prey. Those sharp claws are perfect for bringing dinner back to the nest. The best time for owls to hunt is in the dark of night. They're nocturnal and can easily spot their prey, usually mice and other rodents scurrying across the ground. This owl catches her prey without a problem in one masterful swoop. She can sleep easy tonight knowing that she and her cute ones will have full tummies. This beautiful Parotia bird of paradise is found only on the South Pacific island of New Guinea. It's been called the most extraordinary and the most beautiful of the feathered inhabitants of the earth. It's also known as a six-wired bird of paradise because of the six thin plumes coming out of his head. This colorful bird is famous for crazy courtship dances. Which way to the disco? This male returns to the same spot every mating season. It's sort of like his stage, and all he needs is an audience of one, a female bird of paradise, eager to watch his amazing mating dance.
This guy doesn't have to wait long. A female wanders into his territory. You know she's a girl because her feathers aren't nearly as fabulous as the male. The male gets his stage ready, cleaning up a bit, it seems. And then it looks like he's ready to get the party started. But things suddenly get competitive. Another male and another female arrive on the scene. And suddenly there's yet another guy in the mix. No one told them this was a private party. The original Bird of Paradise has to flash his secret weapon, iridescent chest feathers. He's really pulling out all the stops. More girls show up and they look suitably impressed. But just when our hero is about to start his dance again, an intruding male skips the courtship and just starts distracting all the females. How rude. They have to go. Finally, when the intruders have gone, this exasperated male gets to boogie down and perform his mating dance. puffs his feathers out and makes himself a ballerina tutu. Then goes into some seriously athletic two steps. Here's his big finish, shaking those special feathers. After the dance is over, the male and female get together, hopefully to live happily ever after. Birds like the budgie, the kingfisher, the bee eater, the owl, and the bird of paradise are some of the most colorful and intriguing members of the animal kingdom. They're dedicated parents to their chickies, willing to go to great lengths to help them grow and succeed. There's a lot to like about these gorgeous creatures beyond their beautiful appearance. These are special members of the Club of Cute Ones. When we think of Cute Ones, what usually comes to mind? Furry, cuddly, adorable eyes, or maybe just kind of goofy. Well, this is the story of a whole different category of cute. These amazing animals get their good looks from wild colors and crazy shapes. From undersea wonders to color-changing chameleons and beautiful butterflies. These are the eye-popping, colorful, cute ones. The warm waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans are home to some of the most colorful coral reefs and fantastic looking aquatic life you'll ever see. Most of these tropical fish are considered beautiful or even elegant, but there's one special animal that falls squarely into that goofy category. Can you believe those eyes? These crazy-looking creatures are called mantis shrimp. 
They are members of the crustacean family, like their cousins, crabs, lobsters, or barnacles. But with faces like these, maybe their family name could be kooky crustaceans. The most colorful variety of these amazing shrimp is called the peacock mantis shrimp. They not only look different from other crustaceans, they act differently too. These guys hunt, chase, and kill their prey through the remarkable fluorescent landscape of the coral reefs. And they're some of the strongest and fastest creatures in the ocean too. These shrimp are full of surprises. This mantis shrimp emerges from its hole on the sea floor. They like to live in cracks and crevices. The shrimp needs to defend its home turf against other creatures that are looking to take over their territory, like this octopus. The mantis shrimp strikes some threatening poses to scare off the octopus. It is pretty scary looking. And those bizarre protruding eyes are not just for show. Mantis shrimp have the most complex eyes in the animal kingdom. They can boast about having 16 color receptors. We simple humans only have three. This means they can see colors that you and I will never be able to see. Each of those weird eyes can move independently, and the shrimp uses this amazing eyesight to avoid predators and track down food. This mantis shrimp has captured a crab. This shrimp packs a punch. Believe it or not, they can strike with the speed of a bullet. He's able to easily crack open the outer shell of the crab. Then he takes him inside to the dinner table. Busting open the tough shells of other sea creatures like mussels and oysters are no problem for these super strong shrimp. They can even break through aquarium glass. Mantis shrimp are also sneaky, stealthy, and lightning fast. They are experts at hide and seek, moving quickly to catch their next meal, or defend their territory against other underwater intruders. The cute and colorful mantis shrimp is not to be messed with. Our next cute one is commonly known by a not-so-cute name. The Sea Slug. But don't worry, its official name is much nicer. This wildly colorful sea creature is also called a nudibranch. There are over 2,000 different kinds of nudibranchs that live all around the world and are most commonly found in shallow tropical waters. Nudibranchs come in all sizes, shapes, and colors that makes for some of Mother Nature's most fascinating looking creatures. They are called jelly-bodied, and that tells you a lot about how they look. Their appearance makes for great camouflage, so they are able to blend in with the coral and become practically invisible to their predators who might be out looking for a quick meal. It's a good thing they're hard to spot because they don't live very long anyway. Their lifespan can be anywhere from less than a month up to one year. 
So nudibranchs need all the protection they can get so they can eventually have babies and keep their species alive. Nudibranchs eat coral and anemones, something that would kill most other sea creatures. But this danger actually works in their favor. The stingers and poison of the anemones can enter the nudibranch's body and grow inside it. The nudibranch survives, but this can make them dangerous to any predator that tries to eat them. Enemies like the cuttlefish are often scared off by their appearance. Somehow, they know they could be poisoned if they eat a nudibranch. These nudibranchs are mating. They are hermaphrodites. That means both the moms and the dads can lay eggs. This also helps to create plenty of babies to keep the species alive. The nudibranchs are always doing what they can to stay safe and survive. It's a good thing that these cute slugs are experts in blending in with their surroundings and adapting to their environment. We all want these very unusual cute ones to survive. The world would be much less colorful without them. The island of Madagascar sits about 400 kilometers off the southeast coast of Africa. This is one giant island, the fourth largest on the entire planet. And if you're an animal lover, Madagascar is the spot for you. More than 200,000 different species of animals live on Madagascar. And about 150,000 of those can only be found on this island, meaning they exist here and nowhere else on Earth. That's amazing. For instance, Madagascar is the only spot in the world where you can find lemurs. And there are 50 different types here. And one of the world's most colorful cute ones also calls this island home. Chameleons live in several places around the world. But they are most abundant on the island of Madagascar. Half of all the chameleons on Earth live on this island. And there are 89 different species of them. Chameleons come in all colors and shapes. Looking around at all these chameleons makes you feel like you're in a land of mini dinosaurs. The largest chameleon is called the Parsons chameleon. It can grow up to 69.5 centimeters long. The Madagascan, also known as the Austelets chameleon, is also very large and grows up to 60 centimeters long. But the smallest chameleon has a special distinction. It's one of the smallest vertebrates ever discovered. The leaf chameleon grows to just 16 millimeters long. 
Also, chameleons continue to grow bigger and bigger for their whole lives. That'll be cool for humans too, but we might end up having trouble fitting in our houses. As they get bigger and bigger, they shed their old skin. Not in one piece like a snake, but bit by bit as they grow. These reptiles are unique in many, many ways. One really special ability is that they can move their eyes independently of each other. This bizarre looking skill lets them see a full 360 degrees of the world around them. That means it's like they have eyes in the back of their heads too. And they can even enlarge what they see, like a zoom lens on a camera. This supervision gives them a better chance of catching their prey and running from predators. And of course, Chameleon's most extraordinary skill is being able to change color. Most people think that it's part of their camouflage, but changing skin color is also an important part of how chameleons communicate with each other. A chameleon's skin changes colors in response to its emotions, such as when they're angry or scared, or even when there are big changes in light, temperature, or humidity. That's right, these crazy looking creatures change colors for a bunch of reasons. Sure it would be fun if humans could do that too. With chameleons, the brighter the color, the more dominant the male is, and the more attractive he is to girl chameleons. Chameleons are very well adapted to their environment. Their tongues can shoot out at ultra high speed to be able to catch a yummy treat. That's really fast food. And their claws are well adapted to be able to hold on to the branches of trees. And their tails help them balance and grab on to tree branches. It's really difficult to spot them, and even if you could, it's really hard to catch them. Chameleons are beautiful cute ones, but don't let their good looks fool you. They are quick and silent predators with their special eyes and tongues. And their first-rate camouflage helps too. Chameleons continue to thrive in their environment. Madagascar remains their favorite home. If we're going to crown the queen of colorful cute ones, the first choice has to be the monarch butterfly. It all begins for them in places like the northern United States or Canada. In the forests there, they lay their eggs on milkweed leaves. One of Mother Nature's greatest miracles is beginning. In just about four days, the eggs hatch, and not-so-cute bugs squeeze out.
these newborn caterpillars happily start munching on milkweed leaves. As the caterpillars get older, they develop more markings on their bodies. They eat more milkweed plants in order to grow bigger, stronger, and more colorful. They stay caterpillars for about two weeks. Then the next step. A cocoon called a chrysalis forms around the caterpillar. I bet the caterpillar wants to get out of there. The caterpillar stays like this for about 10 days. And then, an astonishing transformation. As the caterpillar emerges as a breathtaking monarch butterfly. It just seems hard to believe that a caterpillar can change to a creature this cute. Their bright orange and black colors serve as a warning to predators that they taste terrible and are poisonous if eaten. As winter approaches, the young butterflies gather. They plan a long trip to the southern USA or down to Mexico so they can find a toasty warm winter. They test out their new wings and prepare for the largest journey of their lives. They travel across North America in a large group and head for the warm weather. This is a courageous 3,000 mile adventure. Monarchs are truly remarkable travelers. Somehow, they know the correct direction to fly, even though they've never made the journey before. They follow an internal compass that points them in the right direction each spring and fall. Once they reach the warm weather, they hibernate. And then head back north for the summer. And the cycle starts all over again. This massive migration of monarch butterflies has been called one of the greatest natural wonders on Earth. An amazing achievement by a most colorful cute one.
from our underwater friends, the crazy-eyed mantis shrimp that punches its prey. And the jelly-bodied nudibranch that can eat anemones. to the jungle-dwelling chameleon. And the transformation of the migrating monarch butterflies. These animals are in a category all their own. Very cute and very colorful.